Welcome back to Sushi Day. As you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today and uh, I'm trying to do my own filming and I'm gonna get so strong because this camera is really heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm dying here. So every time you start something new, it's always a little bit of a mess. So I'm letting you guys behind the scenes to see the mess that is me filming myself for the very first time. So we'll see how this goes, but we are gonna be making something that hopefully turns out delicious. It's technically also the first time that I've made this, but I'm fairly confident it's gonna turn out well. So what I am making today is okonomiyaki fried rice. Doesn't that sound amazing? First things first, we are going to cook some bacon. We're gonna saute some bacon, and uh, that will be the basis for our fried rice. I forgot to defrost the bacon. Or did I do it on purpose? Pro tip, it is actually a lot easier to cut up frozen, or at least mostly frozen bacon, than it is to cut up defrosted bacon. We're gonna pretend I did this on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna cook the bacon until it gets nice and crispy, but you don't wanna overcook it and cook it too far because we are gonna leave it in the pan as we add the cabbage, as we add the rice, and we're gonna use that bacon fat to cook everything in the fried rice. So, it's gonna be tasty. Once you've rendered the bacon fat and your bacon is starting to get nice and crispy, we're gonna add in a ton of cabbage. I'm going with red cabbage because I just really like the color. I like how it pops when you use it in dishes, but green cabbage, totally fine. There's gonna be a lot of cabbage though because this is an okonomiyaki inspired fried rice. It seems like a lot of cabbage and it is, but it will cook down. We want that cabbage to get nice and caramelized because caramelized cabbage is a real good thing. It's possible I should have used a bigger pan but it is what it is at this point. <laughs> Once the cabbage is caramelized, we are going to add our rice. Make sure you have day-old rice that's been refrigerated overnight because fresh rice will just turn into mush in fried rice. So you want rice that's like a day or two old, has been refrigerated so that it will stay solid and the kernels of rice will separate instead of mush. If you want to add a little dashi here to loosen up the rice, but also to add a little more umami, umami, ooh. To add a little more umami to the dish, this is a great time to do that. Also, uh, if the chopsticks aren't working out and you need to switch to a different utensil, this is also a good time to do that. Or if you need to switch to a bigger pan, you know, all sorts of options here. Last step, we're gonna add our eggs. If your pan is looking a little dry, you can add a little more oil at this point and then add in your eggs. Feel deep regret that you didn't use a bigger pan. Attempt to scramble your eggs and eventually just mix them into the rice. This is gonna be delicious, I swear. And now it is time to plate masterfully. It's time for toppings! Not only is it the moment of truth and it's time to see how this fried rice turned out, but hey look, my videographer is back. He abandoned me, but he's back. That just looks wrong. Okay, so here's the thing, and I can tell you this from experience. Even plain rice is delicious if you put okonomiyaki toppings on it. The kiwi mayo, the okonomi sauce, the aonori bonito flakes, all of that. Like, it's good over plain rice. It's good over pretty much anything. But this is delicious. 
You can never, ever, ever go wrong with bacon fried rice. It is amazing just as is. The, uh, the cabbage has that little bit of sweetness to it. I would have loved some wok hay and to maybe not use a pan that's way too small. But I already had to carry a camera. I was not about to try to walk today. It just wasn't happening. But if you have a wok, if you feel like walking, this would be great using a wok because that wok hay would just add that little extra something. But as is, it's really good. It's some delicious fried rice. Thank you so much for watching my very first ever mostly self-filmed recipe video. If you enjoyed this, absolutely hit that like button because it does let me know that you like this and I'm planning on doing a lot more of these. And if you're not yet subbed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you don't miss another video. And hey, let me know in the comments what else you would like to see me cook. We'll see you next time.